Global Mantics is always looking for ways to keep users from having to call the help desk. They want their computers to work so that those users can focus on their value-added activities. Well, this is one of the reasons why they're really looking at Windows 8 and the new V4 printer driver model. Because in the past, they would get a lot of help desk calls of people calling in, hey, I can't print to this printer. And they would have to install the specific driver, or if it was a shared printer, they'd have to get on the print server and adjust the drivers there. And it was a lot of work. So they like how Windows 8 just finds a driver and takes care of it in the background using this V4 driver framework. It also is much, much faster, right? A driver for a certain printer on Windows Vista can take seven or eight seconds to install. Well, that same driver on Windows 8 probably takes about two seconds to install. So big time improvement. Let's pop over to the desktop and take a look at something. So I'm going to fire up the control panel and go into devices and printers. And here you're probably very used to this. It looks very similar to Windows 7. And if I scroll down, you'll see that I have a bunch of printers. And I'll pick my default printer and go into properties. And oh, I don't want properties. This is a common thing. And I do this constantly. It doesn't matter how many times I remind myself. I want to right click and go to printer properties. So this is where I get all sorts of different options for my printer. I can print a test page. I can go into preferences and set whether it duplexes, so prints on both sides, how many pages per sheet. I can even click advanced and come in and mess with color smart management or all these specific options for this specific printer. I'm going to cancel out of these. You're probably very used to this and you're thinking, wow, this looks like it always has in every version of Windows I've messed with. And you're pretty much right. And this is great for over here on the desktop. But if I have that Windows Store app up, so Internet Explorer, I don't want to go over to the desktop just to change printer settings, right? It doesn't make sense for me to be in a Windows Store app and pop over to the desktop and have to come back over to my Windows Store app just to do some printing. So they designed a completely new interface for the Windows Store experience where it all stays over on the side. If I come into this app and I go to devices, you'll see that it lists a number of different options. And I'll click more so that you can see here's that same printer that I wanted and I'll go ahead and click it. And now it immediately pops up a new printer interface. And if I go to more settings, I have all those different settings like print on two sides, the duplex printing and the sizes and number of pages per sheet, all those options that I was looking at before, but I haven't left the native Windows Store. So this is a different experience for the native Windows side, what used to be called the Metro side. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this and come back to my app. Now all that kind of addresses one of the three core things a printer driver does. And we'll call that configuration, which is settings. But there are two more areas and those two include rendering, of course, which is taking the content from the app from Internet Explorer and turning it into a form that the printer understands so it can put it on the paper. And that's probably the most important thing that the printer driver does. And then the final or the third thing that we're going to talk about is that a printer driver provides a event or notification interface, right? You've probably all seen those printer drivers that pop up a ink alert where it tells you, oh, you only have this much ink left in your printer. Well, historically in that V3 printer driver model, that has all been embedded right in the driver or in apps that run in the background and take up memory and resources from the computer all the time, even when you're not printing. Well, that doesn't make sense, and it's certainly not desirable. So in the V4 printer driver model, this is where we get into those extra apps, right? Where we talked about how the printer driver can automatically download a related app. And I just so happen to have one on this computer for that HP printer that we were looking at. And if I come back to my start screen and scroll over a bit here, you'll see that I have this HP printer control app. Well, I didn't install that. As soon as my computer 
saw that, hey, you have this HP PhotoSmart 7520, and I also have a C410, it said, there's an app that adds functionality on here. And this is it. And I'll click it and go in, and you'll see that I can set my other printer, my C410 if I want, or this one, and that I can also come in and take a peek at extra things like the ink levels or that kind of stuff. And there's my estimated supply levels. And this is all outside of the driver and it's not memory resonant. It doesn't have to run all the time. And here's why. Because the new V4 model has a notification framework built in. So when you're printing, the printer can send back information that says, hey, you need to alert the user about my ink levels, or you need to tell them about this web app that can add enhanced functionality. And then Windows will automatically take from that driver, fire up this app and, and do what it needs to do. So everything's tied together, but it's only used when it's needed to be used. And that is an important difference between the old way and the new way. So let's jump back out to the Windows Start screen. If you're thinking to yourself, John, why didn't you show me how to install that driver or get that app? It's because as I've mentioned before, I didn't do anything to install that. As soon as I booted this computer and connected it to this network, it saw that those printers were out on my network. They're wirelessly connected. It added them as devices and then went and said, hey, those devices have a related app, that HP printer app, and installed it. So I didn't do anything. It was there within moments of me connecting to my local network, which is exactly what we talked about that Global Mantix wants. Because think about that for a minute. No more support calls dealing with, hey, I need the printer driver installed for my HP PhotoSmart 7250 so I can print to it. And the help desk has to log in remotely and install the driver and configure it. It's all just there and it's there within minutes. So it's not even like what usually happens, which is the user forgets that they have a printer until they actually want to print and they're late for a meeting and they need the print out and they go to do it and there's no print driver there for it. And uh-oh. Well, Windows 8 solves that to some degree and Global Mantix is happy about that. 